previously on sports stats. <laughs> like, did we see this coming? We did not see it coming. I said it as a joke. Yes. We said it as a joke. We laughed day. about it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I've got to be completely honest. Friday night was one of the best nights ever because it was so unexpected. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't think anyone, like, <coughs> especially, I think, the, especially the, the uh, Leinster fans yes. didn't see that coming. No, I think, like I said, we, I said in our closed group and stuff that um, I think the reason why there was so much joy is because back in the day when we beat the Crusaders with a team full of Springboks, um, we sort of, exp exp we thought that there's a very good chance yeah. that we'll win in Soweto in 2010 and, and that sort of thing. We thought that we've got a chance of winning, but last night, uh, Friday night, was like there's no chance. Yeah, and it was virtually no chance. Just like a, like a fairy tale sort of mm. situation. I mean, that first game against Leinster, where they completely yeah. just annihilated us. We, yes, it lo we looked like the the 2017 Springboks. Yeah, you know, and and just to come back from that and yeah. and to be so spirited and yes. like, aggressive and and also skillful. <coughs> Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now there are a lot of, especially in the backs, well, in the f everywhere across the field. The locks were amazing, Valt and, and uh, Ruan Orkia. I mean, the props stood their ground. Um, Johan Grobler was obviously very good because mm. uh, it's the one part that we think we might, the Bulls might have to improve. But you've got to give it to them as well. I mean, with what, what they have, um, that they managed to... They managed to hold their own in the scrums. There was no dominance. Yeah. But they managed to hold their own against Furlong. Um, I was surprised at how many, I, like, how many of those Irish Leinster players um, I recognised from the Lions tour. Yeah. You know. Yes. Yeah. No. Definitely. There was a lot big, like the the back three. Well, Caelan Doris came through in the last year or so, um, but he's extremely good as well. Yeah. <coughs> and Jack Conan. Um, so they've got rated it during the line uh, yes. during the line series. Yeah, so. no, you looked very, very good. Yeah, so the Bulls, yeah, they're from the first minute they just absolutely brought it. Yeah, and they it just looked up for it. There's yeah. a bit of a like a lapse in concentration. The the um, Leinster's first try, mm. they definitely stretched us. So yes. you can't say that it was like I know they they scored it sort of mm. as, like um, came loose the ball came loose and they yes. scored that try but that came from them stretching us from yes. a few phases stretching us getting in behind us and then doing what they do yeah they're pressure. still an extremely good team yeah I actually feel a little bit not sorry for them but um, like I they've slightly th lost their way yeah yeah like with La Rochelle as well I mean yeah I, like I think I said we said it in the previous videos. That they they seemed uh, like we I don't actually know how they lost against La Rochelle because they yes. seemed so like in charge and yeah. even though they weren't in charge on the, in terms of the score scoreboard they yeah. they just seemed like they were bossing the game yes. away from home. I don't think the Gla we said it in the in the previous video as well. I don't think the Glasgow game did them any any favors. No, that you, is you don't want to to dominate that much going into a more difficult semi final. Yes, because you're not actually. You're not testing yourself. You're not preparing yourself for a test match type battle. Yeah. Um, and they were weak in the lineouts. And they were weak when it counted. Um, they had a few attacking lineouts that they lost. If they won one of those lineouts, they would have won the game. Yeah. Um, but the Bulls kept on getting the ball back in absolutely crucial times. Yes. Yeah. And I felt like um, like our defence is much yes, improved. So, so much. So. So much. Remember how we complained about uh, the securing the ball at the ruck? Yes. It was none of that. Yeah. We kept losing the ball at the ruck in the, f in the first game that we saw at Loftus against the Stormers. It, they they f sorted all those issues out. Yeah. Um, so it was just it was an amazing game. It was such a high quality match compared to the Blues, Brumbies and Super Rugby, compared to, to the Stormers game. Um, Ulster game, which was a bit of a snore fest, it's actually. Absolutely, yeah, it was actually. Um, I actually thought Ulster <coughs> was the better team. <laughs> yes, I also thought. I thought so too. They just defended too much. Okay, well, I'm yeah. we're still sort of on the Bulls game. Yeah, but there's. I think we've pretty much. Said I think everything. we've said what yeah. we needed to say. I mean, like Alrich Lowe was brilliant. Marshall Kutsir was brilliant. Um, Chris the Smith, five was Chris brilliant. Smith Chris well. Smith is putting his hand up big yeah. time. Yeah, I, I thought, pressure games. I thought that um, Cornell Hendricks was a little bit quiet, but maybe it yeah. wasn't um, that kind of a game. He's like when yeah. I say quiet, I mean like to his standards because yeah. he's usually 
so involved, you know. Kane and Moody was very good. It's just one thing. That that little <laughs> take, put, put the, tuck the ball tuck the under ball, your just arm down, and slide. dive yes. over the line. Why? No, but when he's like 19, so. Yeah, but when you get to professional rugby, you've got to do all these things. Oh. And why was he doing that? I'm no, like, I, I was trying to think. Maybe he was trying to, try, trying to reach because he thought no. he's going to get grabbed. I just do. That's what you teach under nines. Just tuck the ball under you and uh, um, avoid getting into situations where that happens because yes. it might cost the game. Don't be a Herschel Gibbs or a whatever cr cricket reference. Yes. But You'll put that in there. Yes. <laughs> but I mean, luckily, the, the like the forwards were like, okay, hold my beer. And then they like immediately scored it yes. immediately after yes, that. What a cool tap and go. Yeah. Move. Yeah, yeah. quite some ingenuity. Is that the word? Uh, ingenuity. Ingenuity. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that was very good. Yeah. Okay. And then the Stormers. Um, yeah. Like I said, I thought Ulster, <coughs> I thought Ulster actually yeah. played, they sort of built into the game. So. The Stormers, I thought, yeah. uh, like had all the ball in the beginning and they looked dangerous. Yeah. Um, it wasn't a night for the tick uh, kicking tee. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, they, you know, they went into an early lead and then yeah. I, saw, uh, I thought also just built into the game and then they sort of held, yeah. held their own and they looked the more dangerous team. Yes, they did. Yeah, I thought they did. I th I th and they just ended up defending too much. Um, my, my assessment of the Stormers would be that they, they tried to win the game with flair instead of directness yeah instead of of having ball carriers get over the gain line a lot of it happened behind the defensive line Galant not running at full pace and trying a little goose step and then an aimless kick there were quite a few aimless kicks straight down the middle yeah. that they just marked um Marnie Libok had a very up and down game again um first he had a penalty on the 10 meter line and then he only just cleared the 22 and the penalty after that he kicked it dead mm. um yeah. you can't do those things in semi-finals and finals especially there at the death uh, <coughs> i thought the stormers looked like they just wanted to choke they looked yes. like chokers in that moment but but in the end i mean they managed credit, to hold on to the ball long enough to get it to out them. to Galant. yeah yeah, yeah. Was, they hadn't the last time they lost was against connacht in february yes so they've had an amazing run yeah. with a with a team that that's actually financially in trouble and stuff. It's been a it's been an awesome run. But John Dobson and the team will learn from this because they were not good in a in a very big pressure game. I'm going to say this though is that I was a little bit conflicted. Mm. I wasn't sure if I wanted. Okay, firstly I wasn't sure whether I wanted to go play uh, in Cape Town or wherever yeah. Ulster is. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yes. It's somewhere in Ireland. In Ireland. I wasn't sure who I wanted to play. I was yeah. worried about playing Ulster at home because they, they, throughout the season against our teams, have looked so strong. Yes. But then at the same time, uh, you know, at the same time, I thought the Stormers have been have been sort of going down. Their, their form has been going down of late. Yeah. I thought maybe we, we should rather play them. Yes. And then I had another, like, thought. I was like, wouldn't it be better anyway if it was, like, two foreign teams against each other yeah yeah, yeah. you know what i mean it, it adds a little bit now it's just going to be like a south african derby and yeah. we've had enough of those yeah like an irish game an irish team against the uh, oh. is it as prestigious to win if it's against yeah. your own remember like in 2007 when it was the bull sharks uh, that yeah. was an amazing wonderful victory mm. but imagine it i mean if we had been playing the, the crusaders at home yeah. we don't like, like playing each other <coughs> as south africans yeah. and we like it but we, we want to beat foreign opposition yeah but i'm particularly yeah. bored of playing our own yes. teams we played so much so much in like COVID time since, yeah. since 2020. at the end of the game when the 80th minute came i was like i don't care who we play now we're in the yeah. final um if, if we play in Ireland, then it means that we don't have to travel. And if we play, yeah, I think we've got a very good chance if you look at how the semi-final was played. But yeah. on the day, on the day, anything can happen. Yeah. It was a very disruptive game with Dion Furi going off for an <laughs> HIA. Mm. Leo and Zas leaving the field and then they had to scrum off on the wing. I wonder if Zas is now properly injured. <clears throat> it looked like it, yeah. Uh, but for Ulster as well, they lost Bella Kuhn. We yeah. looked amazing. It looks good, yeah. Um, in the previous game and yesterday, he looked very, very good. So, a bit disruptive for both teams, losing crucial players. Um, I think Ulster can be very, <coughs> you know, this is, this is yeah. way one always talks like this, but, you know, they, I think they can be extremely proud of how they yeah. conducted themselves throughout this, yeah. s like this season. I mean, the we, storm we, is we, we, so we cool. respect them so much now from yes. from this from this season. They yeah. almost to me like we we always feared um, Leinster, but yeah. Munster was a little bit of a letdown. Yes. But I thought Ulster 
they yeah, they, they really, really looked strong when they came here and yeah. and they played well against the Sharks to win in the in the um, you know the last round robin game of the season. Yeah, and I thought they played very well against Munster and, and yeah. yesterday they were no, unlucky they were to lose. We were, all the talk was about Munster and Ulster was actually yeah. the better team. Yeah, of the, the second best team of the Irish teams. Yeah. Yeah. obviously according to the log, but. I think they've over, they're busy overtaking Munster. Yeah, it yeah. seems like it. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see next year with Munster, with the new coach, like yes. Jan, Jan van Graan gone and yes, some what's of the players. Yeah. yeah, so now it's a final at, at, um, at the Cape Town Stadium. At the Cape Town Stadium. Yeah. And literally anything can happen. Anything can happen, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, you want to venture a... Yeah, I don't know what I'm to say. I would say Bulls, it. obviously, yeah. wearing, wearing the jersey. I think the Bulls can do it. We've we've lost to no. the Stormers twice this season. I think our tails but, are up, but I think we can. I think we've got the momentum. I think we looked better, and the Stormers won't be happy about how they played. Yeah, no, they were they were a little bit lucky. And I think with a few key yeah. injuries, maybe yeah, it's very frustrating, like the the eye gouge thing and stuff. Why? Why? Why did you put why in a mall? Put your hand in a guy's face. Yeah. You know, so they need to have a serious. John Dobson has to have a serious talk with the players. Mm. And um, Galant just tries too many fancy, flary things and Lebok and not enough basics. And too many aimless kicks. Especially uh, Galant. Um, yes, I'm, I, I hate that we're talking yeah. like this because watch, the, watch Galant like, try assist four tries on Saturday. Like, yeah. oh, exactly. so let's not and he did, make a, he did make a few good runs. He's, he's very unpredictable, that's yeah. the thing. But with that unpredictability comes mistakes as well. Yeah. Especially um, in, in high pressure situations. Good Lee Aronson would love it if Lonnie Libok just kicks the ball straight down the middle of the field like three or four times. Yeah. It was nice seeing him back. It. Yes, no, that was. That, he, made, he, made, he made a little bit of an impact, I think. No, he, he definitely did. He definitely did. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah, from there, we can probably go straight into the, the new Springbok, Springbok group. Squad, yeah. yeah. Some, some uh, surprises. Yeah, so firstly, Dwayne van Meulen and Franz Stein okay, are getting surgery. Got, yeah, they've got injuries. They've got injuries, they're getting surgery. Obviously, Sabun Corsi is still injured and, and so on and so forth. And then mm. pretty much everyone that's had a good season for in the URC has been included. <coughs> Marshal um, Kutsia, except for Yes. Huh? Yeah. Except for Marshal Kutsia. No, he's in. What? No, he's in. Is he in? Yes, he's in. Sweet. Yeah. Cheers to that. <laughs> yeah. No, my shell could see is there. That's amazing. I thought, you, I thought you saw that. That's why I was like, I was oh, earlier yeah. when I was saying Dion Fourie, yeah. like that, like geriatric, and I call him a yeah. geriatric, uh, geriatric, he's my age. Yeah. But, <laughs> like, I, th I was like, why is that guy in and not no, my shell could see? Everyone who's oh. is on form, Alec Lowe. Thank goodness. I shall could see. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe you missed that. No, it was. Uh, oh, okay, it was now your pre our previous conversation makes more sense. Yeah. Okay, now I thought you knew he was in, and I think he'll okay, bet. That's great. Yeah, that's uh, that's fantastic. The un the m most unlucky guy is um, is Johan Grobelaar. Yeah, I mean he was man of the match in the semis, and he's been re a real. <coughs> uh, he's had an amazing season. He's been an ace there. Yeah. This, yeah, and he'll get his chance. He'll play a lot of tests for the Spurs. How old is he? No, he's fairly young. I'm not. As, I'm, I'm guessing 24. Yeah, around about there. Not young, young. Yeah. Maybe but like um, an end of year tour, you take that guy along. Yes. Yeah, but this is for, this squad is, is, is for until November. Yeah. So. Damn it, Cole. Yeah. yeah. But they will, there could be changes, with injuries and this and that. Yeah. And uh, there, there might be one or two changes. Yeah, but I that's why he's going to feel sore squad. about that day. No, he'll be, he'll be the big. He's going to, he's sitting he there. He was man of the match in the of semis, yeah. man. He had an amazing game, an amazing season. Yeah. But we know that there are other factors and things like that, which we are not going to go into detail about. But in South Africa, we understand how the squads are made up and it's all right and it's all fair and we're happy with it. Um, he'll be a little bit unhappy. Yeah, Jacques, and, I'm and sure Jacques Nienauer has like a plan. You know? Yes. No, and he's probably, he probably had a conversation with him, mm. Rassi, Rassi and Jacques, and said, listen, you, it, it will come. Yeah, um, but he's. I guess he is. He's probably the youngest out of the, yeah. out of the like the top uh, hookers yeah. in South Africa. So. And Kane and Moody is going to play for the Springboks, and there are guys that are definitely going to be there. Yeah. In the in the future, but pretty much the core of the of the, of the World Cup and Lions Series teams, and then um, all the guys who dominated in the URC are there. Mm. There's um, Chunu Prop who's a, who's a little bit lucky, but I think it's. It's also bleeding him into the system, seeing the potential and bringing him through early 
let him learn from he Trevor. Did he improved a little bit. The last he had a great game in the last game. I saw him uh, when yeah. I was watching him last year. I thought, yo, this guy isn't good enough really yeah. to be in the Sharks team. Yeah. But he has improved a lot. <coughs> yes. Yeah, like, yeah, like I think we system. mentioned him in the game against Leinster. Yes. Oh, he had a much better when game. He actually played well. Yeah. Carried well, scrummed well. Yeah. Um, Joseph Dweba is in instead of Krobela, which is the only one for me that's a little bit... Yeah, yeah, but I think uh, Dweba had a Dweba's good... also very good. He had a good yeah. um, game. I mean, good uh, season overseas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a guy for me, Evan Ruiz. Yeah. Maybe, um, we're just, maybe it's just because we're Bulls fans. I just... The whole Ruiz low debate, um, if you go on, a, on, a, in, a, on the semi-finals, low was better than Ruiz. Yeah, they're Ruiz? both in, but it's yeah. like, why is... I don't feel like even... Yeah. Everyone's raving about it's Evan Ruiz. Yeah, it's a big, big statement now. Um, because it's all over social media and stuff. But Ruiz had about five or six carries. And out of those, he, I, I definitely saw two knock-ons. Mm. And no offloads, no looking for someone else around him in space. It's just it's pure muscle, tucking the ball under his arm and seeing how far he can get. Mm. Which um, Aldrich Lowe gives you more, yeah. I, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Ruiz can improve in the Springbok system, but at the moment... I'm going to say Olich Lowe is a better player than Ivan Ruiz. I agree. Yeah. As an eight. Yeah. We're not even talking about Marcel Kutsu, who can play six, seven, and eight. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, yeah. He's one dimensional. He's very good. He's very strong. He, ga he gains yeah. a lot I think of meters. He, I think he's he carries athletic. a lot. Let's call it that. He's, he's extremely he's athletic. He's very athletic, and athletic people yeah. will ten tend to be good, mm. generally good sportsmen. But is yeah. he a springbok? With the right coaching, there are, there are skills that you can learn yeah. to, to be more aware of what's going on around you and to mm. protect the ball better and not lose it in contact as much and that sort of thing. But yeah. he, looked, he looked average against Ulster. Yeah. He wasn't in the game. Yeah. He, had, he, had a, he scored a good try, you have to say that, <laughs> but he also made quite a few mistakes and, mm. and they, they watched him well and, they, and he couldn't do anything different. Yeah, and that's what I say. All right. Yeah, so yeah, we'll be watching the game. I'm sad that, like, I hope that it gets as many viewers, uh, like, yeah. Saturday's game gets as many views. I'm viewers. sure it will. A half full stadium. The stadium looked amazing in Cape Town. It looked cool, but I'm yeah. just saying, like, I feel, you know, ideally, I think you'd want in a semi-final, you'd want one team from, from each nation, yeah. barring, you know, yeah, you know, well, obviously there, have there are five, have there are five their nations. Games. Yeah, the Irish teams. Yeah, and. And the Welsh and the Scottish. Yeah. So um, it's you know having a derby for the final is maybe not ideal for yeah. for Super Sport and all the other broadcasters, but no, yeah. it's quite so a big statement. The first year in the competition. It's pretty cool, but yes. it's cool. But yeah. we want it to be. We, we don't want. Not that I'm saying we're going to dominate. Yeah. But um, we also want the Irish and the Welsh and the Scottish. I want Glasgow to make clever signings that they don't lose like that again. Yeah. You know, and I want all 16 teams, like Benetton, I'm excited about Benetton. I thought um, Benetton, yeah, they, um, um, they were good this season. Yeah, invested uh, Apart from losing so many, what yeah. I mean is that when the internationals came back, yeah. they looked like the real deal. But smart signings like Wes Huisen going to Edinburgh and that sort of thing, um, more players are going to want to play in this competition, I think. I think so. Yes. More New Zealanders, Australians, players from maybe Argentina, they might consider not going to France and England and playing to be part of this. I'm glad this is and okay. playing against the Stormers and the Bulls and the Sharks and that sort of as well. I'm going to part with I'm going to part with this is that with the Pro 14 when the Cheetahs and Kings were in there, yeah, it, I was a little bit of sh ashamed of our, yeah. of our teams. Yes, and I, f I feel we've overcome that. We mm. it's not like the the Celtic League that has also Italian teams yeah. and now <coughs> South Africans make up the numbers. Yeah, I feel like we can <coughs> you know hold on. Yes, own. and I honestly think that. The Blues Brumbies game wasn't as good a quality game as the as the Bulls Leinster game. Maybe yeah. that was a better game than the Stormers Ulster game, <laughs> or more or less the same. Yeah. But um, this is a good competition to be in. We are happy to be here, and I think it's going to help the Northern Hemisphere teams, but it's going to help us as well. Yeah. Because less travel time, less slip, less early mornings and financially um, financially definitely <laughs> yeah. playing in the european competitions mm. Stuart barnes sorry but yeah you know you guys asked us to join so why are now you like why kaiser chiefs doesn't play in the yes. champions league yes you know you asked us to come and it 
You no, can't no, no, tell no, no, me. No, no. But this is what I, this is what I want to say. You can't tell me the competition is worse for it. Yes, Stuart Barnes. Just explain this to me. You're like, no, this is a this is a tournament for Europeans, yeah. and also a whole bunch of New Zealanders and Aussies and South Africans that we buy and Fijians yes. and Samoans exactly. and Tongans. It's like you, half of the play, like half of the teams are yes. are foreign. So just yeah, slow your exactly. Roll. If it's team for Europeans, it should be only Europeans in the teams, yes. and then you guys play against each other. Okay, okay. cool. Cheers. Cheers. Can't wait for the final. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs>